1972, Francis Ford Coppola released The Godfather, a film that would define a genre and was met with universal praise at its release. The film tells the story of Michael Corleone, played by Al Pacino. In the film, we see Michael transform from the war hero returning home to the cold and calculating head of a mafia crime family. Set in New York City over the span of five years, the film gives a sense that is biographical, and in a sense, it is. We see Michael, his brothers Sonny and Fredo, we are at his sister's wedding. We see his mother, we see his father, but most importantly, we see the business his father is in. But there's one thing, none of it is real. The movie takes place in a city that is real, but that is really the only thing that is set in reality in The Godfather. The Corleone family isn't real, and even though a lot of the characters in the film are inspired by real people and real members of the mafia, such as Johnny Fontaine, who was inspired by Frank Sinatra and Mo Green, who was inspired by Bugsy Siegel. Even Tom Hagen, the Corleone Sigliere, would not hold his position in real life because of his Irish ancestry. The world that makes up the Godfather is fictional. Roger Ebert, I think, said it best in his review for the movie when he stated that the Godfather is told entirely in a closed world. The characters never really do anything bad, at least not to people who didn't deserve it. All the killings in the film felt justified. The killing of Mo Green, justified. The killing of Salazzo and the police chief, justified. Even the scene in the movie where Michael has all his enemies killed during the christening of his nephew felt justified. There weren't any civilian casualties. Nobody innocent died. We didn't see any sort of crime committed that you would think the mafia would have a hand in. No prostitution, illegal gambling, extortion. Don Corleone himself even said to stay out of the drug business. Was this what the mafia was really like? After watching The Godfather, Sammy the Bull Gravano said, I left the movie stunned. I mean, I floated out of the theater. Maybe it was fiction, but for me then, that was our life. It was incredible. I remember talking to a multitude of guys, made guys, who felt exactly the same way. Mafia members didn't view themselves as bad guys, and in a way, they view themselves as heroes. The fiction that is The Godfather and his characters is a reflection of the spirit of the real-life mafia and how they see themselves. But from what we know about the Mafia, being a hero is not something a person would see them as being. Instead, a regular person would most likely view somebody in the Mafia as a criminal and probably would be afraid of them. But what about real life and its portrayal in the Mafia genre? Look no further than Goodfellas. Goodfellas tells the story of Henry Hill and his life as a Mafia associate, along with Jimmy Conway, played by Robert De Niro, and Tommy played by Joe Pesci. In the first scene of the movie, we see our three main characters driving on a dark road. Henry hears something coming from his car, thinking he hit an animal. He pulls over worried. Illuminated in a red light, Henry unlocks his trunk and in it we see a man covered in blood begging for his life. As Tommy pulls out a knife and stabs the man and Jimmy shoots the man multiple times. Henry shuts the trunk and he begins to narrate saying, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. This scene is crucial to the viewer while watching this film because while The Godfather made the Mafia lifestyle seem, in a word, enchanting, Goodfellas' whole ideal is to deconstruct that word with the theme of the film being disillusionment. In the film, we see multiple people be killed, and unlike The Godfather, some of them were innocent and some of them weren't. In the film, we see Henry go from a young, ambitious man to a man who is paranoid and is fearful of the people he called his friends. At the end, while Henry is narrating, something happens. He breaks the fourth wall and talks to us, the audience. He tells the viewer that he is no longer just telling a story. And this is how the mafia life really is. That this is what happens when you live a life of crime. That this is reality. But then you have something that has a mix of both the reality and the fiction, The Sopranos. The Sopranos is a TV show that follows the everyday life of New Jersey fictional crime boss, Tony Soprano. The Sopranos, like The Godfather, tells the story of a fictional crime family in a real city, and like Goodfellas, is grounded in its reality. But where it's different is how David Chase chose to handle the world of The Sopranos. This show operates as if we, the viewer, was part of this organization, and that means we're with them day to day in the same room as them, and what we see isn't something exciting. Instead, they're rarely doing anything exciting. Most of the time, they are sitting around playing cards or eating, and they eat a lot. 
The Sopranos almost makes you believe that being in the mafia is an everyday 9 to 5. That is, until somebody's killed. But what we see in this fictional crime family is something we didn't see in The Godfather or Goodfellas, and that is intertextuality. Intertextuality is the connection between two similar works. In The Sopranos, intertextuality are the multiple callbacks to The Godfathers in scenes such as... Louis Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. Luca Brazzi. Luca. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. What could I do? They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Yeah, well, you haven't heard ours yet. In his article, Roberto Saviano states that we tend to think that the cinema observes the criminal underworld, while in fact it's the opposite and that they and their followers need films to show their heroism and their victories over authorities. Criminal organizations have always looked up to cinema to tell their stories, to give them inspiration or to take inspiration from them, heroes to imitate or codes to follow. The mafia is just as inspired by what is in the movies as the movies are inspired by the crime families. Please.